betting on my boys won't give no fucking grief. They'll soon pay you back. King Ziggy ain't no thief. Hmm. And that reminds me, it is night time and there's probably other folk out here now. And uh, what I didn't talk yet was the was the fistek operation. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> basically Salamandra Boys here in town. Boys tricks, that's how they get their kicks. But hear me when I say, an orange a tiny price to pay. Who does King Ziggy behold? Given any thought to my proposal? Oh, wait a minute. This is uh, this is the Fight Club. So uh, let's recap for those who didn't watch the. Uh, arm wrestling, uh, fist fighting, dice poker episode. Give me the details. Only once you've made your mind up, my friend. For now, you'll have to make do with the lure of fame and coin. Or you can go on wasting your talents beating the dust out of drunkards around the inns. What do you say? Yeah, so I, I proved myself uh, in the inn uh, fighting, fighting the drunk drunk sailors and such uh, and this fellow saw it and uh, spotted Geralt's talent for fist fighting and uh, invited invited Geralt into a into a fight club I'm ready I'll explain on the way spit it out know what Flotsam's famous for nothing you're wrong there there are only two towns worth visiting in the Pontar Valley Bondar, famous for having the most beautiful whores in the north, and Flotsam, for having the best fist fighting scene. Who organises these fights? Officially, no one. But look hard and you'll be surprised what you can find. It's a vibrant scene with winners and losers of all kinds. I tell him, I'm I promote fighters. Halt! Don't recognise King Ziggy? I know you, but who's the other one? He looks dangerous. Like all of King Ziggy's fighters. Well, that farman you brought in last time was carried out all broken in no time. This one will be different. You'll see. The Commandant himself will bet a fortune on him. All right. But if I'm to let him in, he has to leave all his weapons here. <laughs> sure. Fine. You're a rich man already. The weapons will be waiting in the trunk outside the gate. Laredo? In the flesh. Does he condone these fights? Condone? He sets them up. A lot of coin at stake here. I haven't been too lucky lately, but I believe you'll change that. People will remember King Ziggy. Just don't disappoint me. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Geralt's response was the same as me. Okay, maybe maybe this will uh, gain us a favor from Loredo as well. The guy is dirty, but uh, he might prove useful. Sock it to him! Ziggy the Clown returns. And in grand fashion, I've got a contender who's about to be famous. The Monster Slayer? How'd you talk him into fighting? King Ziggy has his ways. All in all, looks promising. We're about to make Flotsam famous for its mug fights. They'll sing songs about Ziggy and Geralt. You just win and I'll take care of the rest. Ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Yeah, I'm ready. Grand. I'll hear you say my name with reverence yet. Twigs will be your first opponent. So cool because Bones snap with his every punch. I love these pussies with cocky names. Stand your ground! Oh, awesome. We have this, uh... We don't have the Raven's armor on for this. Like a true, true fighters, fist fighters. Suck it to him. So more, more difficult uh, QTEs, obviously here. Getting them so far. 
Stand your ground. Uh, in, in general, I don't like UTEs, but uh, as I think I mentioned in the fist fighting episode, huh, compared to the fist fighting in the Beautiful Witcher 1. Beautiful job rearranging his face. Who's next? One Punch Matho. Name says it all. Downs most opponents with his first punch. Yeah, uh, compared to the only only click 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 fight of the Witcher 1, this is a whole lot better and looks looks much cooler as well. Okay, I think I I think I can't miss anything here if the fellow is, is indeed a one punch. I'll see if I can't make him throw a second. Good luck. Sock it to him! Finish the fucker off! Cool moves. Sock it to him! Stand your ground! There we go! <laughs> You're the discovery of my lifetime. Think we're made for each other? Indeed, but we've a long way to go. Your next opponent is Smugface, also known as Tassel Dick. <laughs> Not too popular then. He has tassels on his clothes. Last month, he bit his opponent's ear off. Oh, wow. This is getting better and better. Bring on this Tassel Dick. Finish the fucker off! Oh, this guy's a tower. Pile of meat. Suck it to him. Oh, missed key. Oh. Stand your ground. Oh, nice one, Geralt. Get him. Not to hair. Okay. Finish the fucker off! Okay, mister. Time to take you down. Down, down. Stand your ground! One more and we'll be rich and famous. Who is it? Stanek. In a rumble it takes at least four lads to take him down. Hmm, that sounds good to me. I'll do it single-handed. Don't <laughs> underestimate him. Witcher, come here a minute. It's impressive technique. Thanks. Last fight's coming up, and everyone's betting on the dead cert. You. Except for me. What do you want, Lorito? Stenek has to win, but the true winners will be you and me. A third of the jackpot's yours, and that's not an offer. Right. Okay. This is this is something I want. I want to. I uh, I hope to gain uh, Loredo's favor. Otherwise, but. Uh, I think I will get on his uh, on his bad side anyway. I see. You're a regular con. Your opinions don't interest me. You ought to take a dive. That's that. Piss off, old man. Oh, some sort of a warrior monk. Stand your ground. Nice beard. Suck it to him! Missed me. Okay, eat this. I'm uh, 
practicing my taunts here. Finish the fucker off! You're not that tough. Suck it to him! Oh, not here again. Don't touch the hair. Finish the up. Here's your coin. The guards will take you to the gate. You'll regret this. I told you we'd win. I've got a real sense for these things. I think you owe me something. Why don't we have some fun first? A free round at every inn, not to mention the girls. You can screw my share. <laughs> Um, I got this sword. Robust long sword. So what's the... It's common. Well, maybe I will use this uh, steel sword. Oh, the damage is much better with this one. But it's not not actually a meteorite steel sword. I like to I like the damage reduction on the block as well. Okay, what else? Oh, I can uh, I can wear a. Oh, I get bonus for the trophies. I didn't notice that. Nice. Excellent, like a magical bonus. Cool. Okay, was that all? Yes, I have all my things. Hmm. Wonder if that gets me gets me in trouble with with Loredo. Yeah, it it started started with one on one. Uh, again, there's the flotsam, so there's probably fist fighting in other towns as well. Geralt noticed what appeared to be fist fighting tournament in the flotsam inn. He decided to test the abilities he had honed on dungeon guards. His opponent was called Styko. The fight with Sauko the Stot was a cakewalk. The Witcher was now ready to tackle a man called Flipper Flippers. Geralt's next opponent was uh, Kgor Pranzel, aka Flip Ars. He fell to the floor as quickly as the one before him. Geralt was in the prime, but the next contender, Tidy Tip, was a famed ruffin. Tidy Tip was bested, the Witcher won the in tournament. And after that, King Ziki contacted Geralt. King Ziki, a man of noble birth who was surrounding himself with men of despair, Pickable status took note of Geralt's fist fighting successes. He offered him a chance to participate in another tournament. These were supposed to be fights for especially selected men. The participants' glory and reward would be guaranteed. Ziggy tended to appear in front of the inn at the evenings, and it was there that Geralt met him again. King Ziggy took Geralt to Loredo's residence, making it was clear that the commander was the patron of fist-fighting duels in Flotsam. So Geralt participated in the tournament under Loredo's enlightened patronage. The rules were simple, each contender would remain in the game until his first defeat. A hefty reward and a fond fondness of dressing pumpkins meant the Witcher did not hesitate. The first opponent turned out to be frail, 
fist fighter called Twix. In the old days he was known for his right hook, but his career was brutally ended during the duel of with the Witcher. Our hero won and quickly prepared for the subsequent fight. Matho enter Matho. Enter the ring with Sir Step. Self-confidence is a must-have trait for a fist fighter, but not sufficient alone to make a champion. Geralt defeated Matho with a skill compared to that of a young bear pulling honey from a hive. His opponent's blows were like irritating buzzing of bees, however the subsequent opponent looked more dangerous. When Smugface entered the ring, the audience cheered with enthusiasm. They fully expected to see a fist-fighting piece of art. Instead of a ballet, the spectators, spectators got a heavy and brutal duel, which Geralt won, yet not without difficulties. The victor did not end the tournament, however. Everything went smoothly until the final fight with the former champion from Vizima, a man called Tenek. Loredo offered the Witcher money to throw off the fight in order to make Tenek Witcher vanquisher and enhance his career. Our hero refused the offer, which was not so difficult to understand. Ah, uh, where are the erstwhile snows and ancient champions? The aura of greatness which Tenek executed burst like a soap bubble, touching a porcupine once the fist fighter hit the floor. Geralt won against Loredo's intentions, and I was very happy with his victory. Commandant, however, ground his teeth in anger. Whether anyone liked it or not, Geralt became the fist-fighting champion of Lotsam. Other challenges would await him in the future, but the victory over Loredo was the sweetest. I think, uh, I think I will be doing I that tell him. I'm taking your pouch. Or your pouch and your life. What did he say? He said there's a third option. Then his hand inched towards his knife. Nervy. What then? He got a bolt in the back. Too bad he turned out to be poor. The poor ones are always uppity. I was about to say that I, uh, I think I will be doing that in the future as well. Uh, reading the Quest descriptions after the quest. Um, I think I need to save. I don't like the look of these fellows here. Commandant Laredo sends his regards, punk. Really? About what, new boy? Maybe we ought to try some honest work from time to time. New boy, my friend. Mm, those look like the fist tech boys. Listen carefully and take it to heart. But the salamandra. Yeah, what? Never ever say that again. Hmm. I want to talk here. Uh oh, trouble. You got that right. What now? Going somewhere, friend. Lads, listen up. What is it now, new boy? At your service. Okay, there's nothing, nothing for me there. Okay, so Loredo is sending sending men after me. Very well. Oh, someone's taking a leak. Perfect. That prick Loredo turned his nose up, eh? Ha! You'd think he was faultiest himself, parading among his lessers. Glad we made the deal. True enough. Sometimes you just gotta grit your teeth and bite back later. Am I in your seat? Sorry, mate. Uh, hello. Okay, I can't get any info. 
fought a few. Let's see if we run into any more trouble with Loredo's men, but I think uh, I think there's one thing I want to spend my winnings on. Praise Melitale. Praise the goddess. I think you know what I mean now. Yes, indeed. Welcome. Wait till he drops his fucking guard. Ever heard of doing it witch and strigger style? <laughs> no, tell me. He downs a flask, tries to get it on, falls fast asleep, and she wakes up a virgin in the morning. <laughs> You're dandy. Hmm. Hey, sir. Care for a little fornication? You read my mind, woman. I guess it'll beat 100 like before. Hello there, children. Shall we drink? Uh, well, I'm not gonna not gonna arm wrestle. I'm a bit exhausted, if you know what I mean. Elder. That's what that's what I'll do next. 